Once you have downloaded Wondershare's Filmora to your computer, you're going to go to your little start button at the bottom, and you're just going to go ahead and uh, just click on it. Now, if it's not showing here, you can just type it in here, type in Filmora, and it's going to pop up. And then you're just going to click on it, and it's going to open up. I'm going to scoot this up a bit now takes a minute to open up I'm sort of making this tutorial um, a little bit on the fly because I know a lot of people purchase this program and it's really awesome and so um, I just kind of want to show you some things to do with it um, in my own way so when this pops up you want to select the full feature mode now uh, if you have not you will have to download it uh, before you purchase it. I think that's how that's how I did it anyways. Um, I'm not sure how you do it, but um, this is what it looks like when you open it. You're going to have um, a timeline here, um, and then you're going to be able to import your media here. And your media is going to be your images, your videos, uh, and any music that you want to use, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're, uh, just for the sake of teaching you how to import those things, I'm going to go ahead and import a few things, okay? Um, and we're just going to randomly select things out of my, you know, off my computer. This is my downloads folder. You'll see that I already have a whole bunch of uh, images here. Um, the reason that I save my images as numbers um, is because when I'm record, when I'm going to pull them in, um, these, this would be like the order I would want to show them. Um, it just makes it easier for me if they're numbered when I'm actually uploading them into Filmora. Okay, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just pull in um, a couple of images that I already have pre-made in YouTube size, um, like this one, this one, and say this one. And then all I did was hold down the control button in order to select um, multiples. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also select a video that I know is in here. Um, and I'm going to put bring the video in as well. Like this is a video here of Michelle. Here's a video of, um, of a, um, Aisha. Here's the video of Linz. Um, you can pull in videos. This is music files here. So I'll just go ahead and I'm going to pull in a music file while I'm at it. Um, and then we just have, I'll hit open. Okay. So you just pull in all these files the same way you would, um, um, images are the same as music is video like this is video even though this is image it is a video I could drag it here and you'll what's it will sorry let me redo that I apologize um, I just want the video okay so I'm going to drag the video down here uh, this video is almost a minute long you can pull this timeline a little bit if you'd like, see how that little arrow pops up? And that kind of just gives you more space to work with, okay? So I use this video is like a minute long. Um, and what that does is that gives me more space, um, I feel like, to work with. So like say this was my opening image, I could just take it and drag it before her video. Say this was like my closing image, just drag it here, okay? So that's how you're going to import your your media and your music okay and so this is music here it's indicated right here by the little music file this is video file and then this is images um, the music actually goes down on the one of these two bars you can you actually will have the option to have uh, you can overlay um, you can um, layer that would be a better word for it you can layer music on top of all sorts of things um, so that's why you have two bars. Okay, but that's just how you're going to import your media in here, the things that you're going to work with. Um, and in my next video, I want to show you how to save something YouTube size um, just really easily because each of your pictures here need to be um, YouTube size. Okay.